Hello. Hello everyone. Oh, there is someone as well. Seamus is on. LB is on. LB is stuck on the roof in the nether. <laughs> Somehow he glitched up there with a with an ender pearl. So Seamus is uh, or I think I don't know. Somehow they're going to get him out of there. <laughs> Who knows how. Anyways, last episode I uh, had some trouble deciding what to do in our hole here. Um, more specifically, I didn't know exactly. Should I keep it like this? Dig it further down? Like, should I keep it like this for like the natural look, or just you know smoothen it out? And I asked for some suggestions and. Um, when I'm recording this, that episode has been out for like uh, four hours, so I haven't got any suggestions yet, but I gave you a fair shot because uh, I was struck by a sudden inspiration. So I have a plan now. So I'm sorry if suggestions all lean towards keeping it like this because we're not going to do that. Um, all right, let me, let, okay, new position. Position reached. I thought, and if you, if you look around here, sand, 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 and sand, and more sand. Generally, not a lot of squids. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm. That was my, was my point. Was uh, I want to make a squid farm in here? This would be the perfect squid farm. It's not going to be overly complicated, I think, but we're going to start start on it today. I want to dig it a little deeper here. Uh, fill it with water. Signs under the water. Another layer of water. Then signs under those waters, and so on and so forth for a few layers. Um, because uh, squid can swim upstream sort of, unless it's stair-shaped. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go through some of the technicalities of it, but basically they need to just fall through the one layer of water at a time. Uh, I haven't really, uh, I don't know, investigated the details of it. Um, but, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm just reading here. I'm just going to dig a little bit deeper. What I know is that I think squids can only spawn between layers 60 and 40. So we, we can't have it too deep, which is fine by me because it's going to be a shitload of science to get across here. Actually, I think what we'll do is we'll make sort of like a little walkway, maybe like three or four wide on the inside here, maybe even a little wider than that, and make sure there's no water anywhere else. And it should be a pretty effective squid farm, which will be, like, these guys on the server, they make so many farms of different things. One thing there is no farm about yet is ink. And that could be, like, my currency. So if I have that in my base, I will always have ink, you know? So, um, let's try to do that. I'm going to be digging away a, lot, a whole lot now, so I'll see you when that is done. Okay, I think I got rid of, well, most of it. I'm still... Still working on, uh, on the on, like the last layer of sand here. Just going to get it down to this level where I put the uh, you know the second level of smooth sandstone, and we're going to do this. Actually, maybe yeah, we're going to put this one level lower than the smooth sandstone. Do the stair thing and the same up there, I guess, uh, and then like a walkway around the whole place. Oh, and by the way, I just, I'm so glad I have these buffs here. It's just so easy to, <laughs> to do, do things. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, it's actually fun to remove crap now. Oh, it's not that fast with, you know, with the other stuff, but still, it helps. And the fact that you can jump two blocks high and such. But... I have a. I want to do a lot this episode, so enough uh, recording on this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was a lot of work. That took much longer than I had thought. But 
Everything is flattened out. I even filled in the holes so it wasn't so annoying to walk on. And then this. I haven't done the top part yet, but we'll do that later. Mm, there's more digging to be done though. I need to remove now uh, another layer around the whole place here. And I think what we're going to do is fill it with grass. Like the walkway could be well, this this wide, I guess, more or less. Um, I might have to do some not calculations but estimations, I guess, or 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 basically to check how the shape of the inner circle there. If I unless I can just extend it a certain amount of blocks from from those blocks, maybe. Not sure how that will be when I get to a certain point. Actually, I think I, I will do that first and then dig away the center because then I, it's just, you know, it's easier to, to measure like this. Now let's see how that goes. Step two completed or step whatever it was. Yeah. Now I need to find some dirt. Just, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need a better stair system here. Or the ability. I like that. It's a little weird in, in that part. On all the sides, really. And like, it seems like it's wider on like the big flat parts there as opposed to there because it's not really a perfect circle as it would have been generated if I did if I did like the circle generating tool uh, it's, it's just like always minimum six away from the wall in either direction that's like my system yeah so yeah it is not sure if it's my field of view thing on the camera or but it's 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 good enough. I'm going to cover all this with dirt now. I need to find some dirt. I don't know if I have any dirt. Let's go back to the base. Actually I'll go back to the base. <laughs> In both of my bases, this is the total amount of dirt that I have. Oh, I have a lot of sand. Not so much dirt. There's like there's nowhere with dirt here. I'm not sure if I should really go farm for dirt or or trade with someone. I'm sure someone has a lot of dirt and will trade it for sand or something. Dum 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 dum. dum. Let's go trade with Alex <laughs> without asking him. I'm sure he won't mind some sand. So yeah, because Alex been <laughs> like that's what he's been doing. He's been digging, digging and digging and digging. So he should have some dirt and some cobblestone, but I don't need cobblestone really. See, so, yeah. As mentioned. <laughs> digging and digging and digging. And some of these chests here should have dirt in them. Jesus. I mean... he. I don't think he knows what he wants with this hole. Just that he wants a hole. Is, is it dirt in any of these? Mm-hmm. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Let's see how many sand did that bring? Let's do one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's what I give him, and then also 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. Fair trade. That should that should suffice. I'm not gonna tell him though. <laughs> in case. Ah, noises. Just have to go there for a few seconds to get the buff. And it seems we have visitors. Oh, there's a bunch of them over there too. That's good that my only source of TNT at the moment. Or gunpowder. I don't really have any TNT. But I do have the sand for it and I want to build a big mob farm here as well. Like my plan eventually is to have maybe not the most efficient farm. Uh, but a farm, or actually four farms minimum, towers that goes up uh, in the corners or flat sides of the circle here. And just have like long thin towers, not the very wide ones, just simple designs. Um, but that's a future project. Again, a lot of building now that is just in between or waiting for the redstone stuff to come. So we're just going to fill it in the whole way with this. Or actually, I may want to do like that and do like a um, stairs thing. And then water starting below there again. Maybe, oh, not like that. Just to, you know, to match this whole thing, frame it in a little bit. Just see. Then it would be like that. Yeah, I think I'll do that actually. So once again, let's see when it's done. Ah. Dirt part complete. Next stage is placing stairs. <laughs> Just showing you bits and pieces here. Uh, doing it like this first and then going back afterwards to do, you know, the corners like that. Just it's easier for me to measure out like this. Mistakes. Ah, it's starting to look pretty good. I really think that stair thing there that does the trick gives that sharp edge. Uh, so now we need to dig away everything in the middle. Uh, it's going to be quite deep, so I'm not going to dig it all right now, but at least two blocks so that we can... Um, I don't know. At least two blocks anyway. Ah, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Oh. <laughs> My shovel is about to break. I need a new shovel. Ah. And uh, I'm removing all the torches here, so probably it's going to be a huge mess with mobs here pretty soon. <laughs> oh well. Uh, we'll see how this looks when we get done with it. <sighs>
Okay, I'm just back from uh, just back from the uh, end. Just repairing my. This is like the ultimate ultimate shovel and ultimate pickaxe. I really <laughs> need to do something here now. Uh, efficiency and then breaking. Uh, and yeah, we're digging here. I haven't really done anything more there yet. Air, go through nose now. Thank you. Uh, but we need to plant some grass. I'll do. Use half of them. Yes. Because it needs to be green here. Even though it looks cool when it's brown too, but... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's in the desert, so we will have this light, light grassy color. That would be cool. It's even cooler. I actually like that. I, I hear a lot of people don't like that color, but I think that looks pretty cool. No, Etho, for instance, he likes that very, very deep green. And he goes on and on about that. <laughs> and I don't disagree, but I think this is a unusual color. You know? It's cool to have it around the place. I actually brought from the old server, I brought these, p <laughs> these silk touched grass blocks, I don't know why. But it turns out useful now, because I didn't know how long I would have anything silk touched. Uh, yeah. This is just a small update. Now for the digging. Alex came to help me, the grass is grown green. We're working, we're working, it's going good. Still some digging to do though. Whew, another progress report guys. Um, we hit water and there's squids in it. There's multiple squids. So that bids well for our future squid farm here. Um, let's get a top view maybe. I'm nearly done with this now. With digging. Oh, not done. It's going to go down to... At least the center of it is going to go down to level 40. The sides are not because it's going to be shaped so that things can fall down or swim down to some degree. But yeah, mostly done here now. Uh, t <laughs> gathering a lot of useless material. But uh, enough sandstone to, to build with so I don't have to use my supply over at the sand farm that doesn't work anymore. Uh, I'm probably also going to change out the walls down there with sandstone, so that's something I haven't done yet. But before I do that, I, I just want to, you know, finish some of it. And uh, I want to see if we can start placing, like, one layer of water in here in this episode. Even though it's going to be a huge project, but I want to see how it works. <laughs> and how, to, how terrible it's going to be. So, yeah. Alright, that's it. That is all we need flatten out and nice now <laughs> nightmare uh, going to make a whole shit ton of signs and uh, I really I have I have like my grasp of the situation is is probably going to be a whole lot <laughs> um, Exactly how many? I don't know. Uh, so well, I can try to count basically how how many signs one floor would require. I've, as you can see, I've also uh, changed the entire inner wall here now, so it looks good. Um, I have some spare wood over here that I wasn't really planning to use for this, more like decorative things, but oh well. Uh, I also wanted to make a tree farm. That was actually like the first thing I wanted to do on in that new base. But tree farm as well as other things um, are just what should we say? Very. Uh, it, it will be so much better when we're uh, when we got the snapshots. Uh, not the snapshots. When we got the the other stuff. The, the redstone update. So I'm sort of delaying that a little bit. Oh. OK. 
Okay. Okay, so now we have, I'm just going to count here, we have one, let's see, so 18 stacks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18 stacks of 16 signs, and uh, I should probably bring one of these. And <laughs> oh, this is going to be so terrible. <laughs> this is going to be like the most work I've done in a single episode for a long. Actually, yeah, I think so. The mob tower on the previous server that was uh, also a lot, but this I think is going to be more. Let's see, how many is it across? I shouldn't have dug this far down, actually. The water is going to be at that height, or we can actually put it at that height. No. Water at this height, then sign here. I should be able to jump out of the water. No, actually, you know, let's, let's keep the water that height, and then signs there. So we're going to do this. Oh. God, <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. Uh, across the whole thing, and then water on top, then a gap, then water, then signs again, or to have something to have the water on. And if I have the energy, do like four or five layers of this downwards before we start collecting them into a, like a bowl at the bottom. This is one of those things that should really be a server project, but it'll be cool when it's done. I'll see how much we can get through here. You guys have no idea how boring this is. <laughs> oh, I mean, this is one of those things where... Um, where you get a chance to really sit down and develop into YouTube videos when you're doing these kind of things. So that's what I've been doing. I've watched quite a few hours of more or less interesting videos. Uh, <laughs> this is how far we've gotten so far. And to be honest, it is a pain. It is pure pain. Let's see. Oh, and every time I end the pearl up there, I get stuck in the somewhere, like now. It wasn't really my intention. Ah! And I don't have feather falling boots. Let's try it again. Okay, let me meet you up there. Okay, so here we get a bit of a view. So that's the plan, and <laughs> I said I wanted to have like three or four, or like four or five actually floors of this. I'm thinking that, I'm going to have at least one more, but I'm thinking that the other one, the next one is going to be like a, a double, double water, maybe, to get more, more actual water per floor. Like, had I known how terrible this was, I would have done uh, this first layer of uh, of signs as well. Uh, one further down, so I could have a double, double layer of water on that. And just place the water on top of some dirt or something. And then chop the dirt away. Which would be difficult without breaking all the signs. I don't know which is worse, really. But this is so many signs, you have no idea. It It doesn't look so bad, maybe? from this view, but it really is horrible. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to be completing the large part or the rest of this because I am I ran out of signs and logs. I've been farming a lot of trees too, I just I can't do any more now. <laughs> uh, what I want to do now though is um, I'm going to just try how it looks from underneath. 
Uh, we're gonna get some buckets from somewhere and uh, fill it with water on top some of the areas there and we'll have a look. Okay, luckily I had a couple of buckets with water because I really don't have water anywhere either. Problematic, I know. <laughs> Let's see. So on the one hand, I, w I need this to... to... Oh, I didn't catch the buff. I don't want to put the stairs here because then the mobs can get in. There we go. Um, so on the one hand, I, I, I need it to spread, like, you know, like when I duplicate water sources. Uh, on the other hand, I don't want it to spread too far. Because I can't walk around here and place it manually in the middle, because it's on the signs. Uh, I have to place it here and hope for the best. So if I place one source here, and then one source here, it should make this a source. Yep. And then hopefully I should be able to do like that. And just like, you know, make sources all over the place. Whoa. That was weird. Uh, there we go. Yep. Yes, that is going to work. Because you can see that it, you know, it spread much further. On that second one there. Like it's going to do now. Almost. Let's do here. Yep. At least I think this is going to work. It's hard to say without having tried out the middle part there. But I'm fairly certain it will. Some weird graphical glitches going on here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, look there. Like, oh, yeah, it's the, like the it's the buff that does it. Like I can see through the water when those bubbles from the buff hits me for some reason. I'm just going a little with this. I want to see it from from underneath when it's rather big, and also I'm curious if from the underside here now if I can use it to jump up. Now it should spread quite a bit because now we're starting to go on the sideways here. Yeah. Missing somewhere here, I guess. <laughs> ah, magic. It's quite late now. I've been doing this on and off all day, actually, this episode. And uh, a little bit yesterday. <laughs> no, yeah, yes, actually, a little bit yesterday, too. Okay, almost done with the part I want to do today. Yeah, I think that'll that'll do. That will do for now. Let's have a look from from the top. See if I can hit that now. Nope. 
Well, at least I can see there. And now I can jump through water. Yay! Ah, oh, how nice it is here now. Let's see, can I jump? So the next layer of water will be where I'm where I'm walking now, where my feet is now, I think. Uh, air. No, there. My f my face height. So air, water. And I'm not sure. So air, and then maybe double water, and then science again. Ah, uh, now I can't reach the water. <laughs> uh, I was really hoping. I no, it's not water here. Or is it? Looks like. No, here it is. I can't reach it with my double jump. I was hoping I could jump up into it and swim there. But, oh well. Anyways, guys, that is all we have time for in this episode. I hope you enjoyed. In the next one, uh, we'll hopefully. Pr probably not have it finished, but finish it during that episode. Um, or something else. Maybe some of the more decorative parts of it so it's not too similar to the episodes. I think that's what we're going to do. I'll work on this a little bit uh, off camera. I'll see you then guys. Take care. Bye bye.